Hi, I'm Vince Vetrano. And I'm Susan Kim. We are learning more about the state trooper shot and killed in Fond du Lac. Officials report that Trevor Casper was working his first day alone. The 21-year-old began pursuing a car linked to a bank robbery and murder, and that led to a shootout with Timothy Snyder, the suspect. Both were killed. Casper is from Kiel, and those who knew him are devastated. Those rare and, and unique individuals that understands that serving others over self is what makes it worthwhile to come to work every day. Investigators say Casper was following protocol during the traffic stop. Funeral arrangements are still being made. Casper will be given full law enforcement honors. His name will also be added to the state law enforcement memorial in a ceremony this May. Now, the president of the UW system is threatening to quit over Governor Scott Walker's proposed budget cuts. Ray Cross said he will resign if he can't convince lawmakers to reduce the $300, $300 million amount. UW leaders have warned the cuts will lead to layoffs. Two universities are now offering buyouts to some employees. Wisconsin lawmakers are considering new rules for drones. Representative Adam Nylon of Pewaukee says they could benefit many state industries. It comes as the FAA is considering new regulations for drones. Right now, state law bans devices that are capable of audio and video recording in areas where they could invade a person's privacy. Some busy streets in downtown Milwaukee will be closed beginning this morning. Construction workers plan to start pouring concrete at the site for the new Northwestern Mutual Building downtown. Mason Street from Cass to Prospect will remain closed until Tuesday afternoon. There are also some lane closures on other surrounding streets. The closures are posted on our website, tmj4.com. The Badgers take on UNC in the Sweet 16 tonight. If you couldn't make the trip out to California, a watch party is being held in downtown Milwaukee. The Wisconsin Alumni Association has invited fans to watch the game at McGillicuddy's on Water Street. The party starts at 6 p.m. with the game tipping off at 6.45. Yesterday, we had some very gusty winds as the cold front was getting ready to push on through. And that cold front created its first severe weather outbreak in uh, the Plain States. Oklahoma had two tornadoes. This one just outside of Tulsa yesterday, and unfortunately, did create uh, one fatality and a lot of damage around the area. For us, as I mentioned, we had the clouds and the wind, and the first cold front made its way through. This is what's left of those uh, severe thunderstorms from yesterday in Oklahoma and Arkansas. Now just rain, Ohio, Indiana, and down into the Tennessee Valley. Our weather headlines going back to winter for the next couple of days. Thanks in part to those cold fronts, flurries and 20s possible 20s for highs, not lows, a gusty Sunday and even a few rain showers on Sunday. And then we warm back up into the 50s next week. It is mostly cloudy and it'll stay that way throughout the day. We'll have a little bit of sunshine here and there. 31 degrees in Port Washington, a northwest wind is at nine miles per hour. Temperatures are in the 30s around Milwaukee County, 30 Glendale and Brown Deer, 31 South Milwaukee, Oak Creek and Greendale, the airport, just a little bit warmer. Temperatures are in the 20s as you go inland. Green Lakes at 28, also Burlington, Lake Geneva, 28 in Whitewater, 35 Racine, as well as Sheboygan. The winds are out of the northwest at 10 to 15. That is dropping those wind chills this morning into the 20s for the most part across southeastern Wisconsin. Not a bad start, actually, considering a cold front has pushed on through, but it gets worse. We won't even see high temperatures uh, out of the 20s for tomorrow. So the Goddard gauge for today, mostly cloudy, and we'll give it a 5. Uh, temperatures right around 40 degrees, a brisk northwest wind at 10 to 20, keeping wind chills close to 30 degrees. Front number one moved through last night. We had those strong southwest winds in front of it yesterday. We will see if some cloud cover today, maybe a few sprinkles and flurries this afternoon as this next front pushes on through tonight. Uh, a very slight chance of a scattered light snow shower at best. And then we will see high pressure roll in here for Friday and Saturday. Plenty of sunshine, but it will be chilly around the area. For today, 40 degrees. Normal highs about 46 to 47. It'll be mostly cloudy, uh, breezy as well. That northwest wind adding to the chill at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Then for tonight, that secondary cold front pushes through. We'll have some flurries, maybe even a light snow shower, a dusting of accumulation in some neighborhoods at best. Otherwise cold, 18 degrees when you wake up in the morning. Wind chills will be in the single digits. What's going on? 28 for Friday. A week ago, we started spring. It has not felt like that since we started spring. 36 on Saturday. At least the wind will be light. Sunday, a different story. 46 degrees. It'll be cloudy with scattered rain showers, but a 40 mile per hour wind. 48 on Monday, and we get back into the 50s. Tuesday, 53, and near 60 on Wednesday.